lady and her young son who are lost somewhere in the middle of Kinder Plateau. Uh, there's currently a team of four of us out to uh, try and go to them. Um, we've, managed, we've managed to get a location of them using one of our tracking tools. So we do have a grid reference, so at least it's not a big search. Hopefully it is just a question of make our way to their location and effectively guide them back down. The big mix on this is obviously we're doing this during the COVID-19 period, uh, which massively changes our protocols. Uh, so far, we're managing to just distance ourselves as a team from each other. So that's why I'm not wearing PPE. Um, if we have to do anything a bit more than that where we're going to have to get close in so if for instance there's a medical problem with them uh, anything along those lines then it becomes a lot harder because we've then got to use full PPE to try and get down uh, in addition to that it's a lot longer for us normally we get a lift in our Land Rover to there top of Edo Cross and deploy from there uh, but now we're only putting one person in that vehicle just the driver He's brought the kit up and we've walked up from base. So it's been a lot longer journey now. Uh, our response is a lot longer. These people will have been waiting for quite a while, but in these conditions, there isn't really anything we do with that. As far as we're aware, they're not injured. So, you know, they're just, they're just gonna have to suck that up and wait for us to get there. Uh, but oh, it's, uh, it's not bad conditions. The weather's not cold. It's light till about 10 o'clock, so we're not seeing this as an urgent issue. So we've just gone through uh, Kinderlow, trick point. A couple of people camping there overnight while camping. Um, don't think the restrictions are quite lifted to that extent yet, um, but it's not our job to move them on advise really. Uh, so we're now going to push out along the uh, watershed out into the middle of the plateau and see if we can pick up this this uh, call. So we think we've spotted the two uh, lost people uh, just about a couple hundred metres away. Um, they're starting to signal to us. Might just be able to see them over there. Uh, pretty straightforward for us in these conditions. Normally we'd be doing this either in the dark or with clag, cloud cover with about six foot visibility in front of us. So finding them becomes a lot harder this kind of weather. We can find them at long range, but at least we, we found them before, assuming it is them, we found them before it gets dark. So we then just got the issue of how we get them back. Um, I'm hoping they can walk. If they can't walk, our choices are limited now because uh, we're unlikely to be able to get them in a helicopter now. Um, I think helicopters are pretty much saying they'll come to emergencies, deal with the casualty, and then, unless it's absolutely life threatening, uh, they won't take them. So that's them heading off back with Vinnie down to uh, Hayfield in the uh, Land Rover. I um, think we're going to try and get them back to some kind of a train station so they can get home. A uh, bit of a difficult really. In theory that was quite a straightforward bread and butter rescue for us. Under normal conditions that would have been fairly straightforward. Um, the weather was okay, just starting to get a bit cold. I think if they'd have been out much later they'd have lost the light and temperatures would have gone down quite a lot. Um, I suppose it's just made more difficult by how things are with COVID. Um, fortunately they could walk so we didn't have to take too many, precau too many precautions other than just really keep our distance from them 
we couldn't get on and do any proper casualty care hands on with them um, I guess they just really made probably a bad decision on other people's advice that kinder was a lot easier than they thought it was and it pretty much caught them out as it seems to do a lot of people so that's it we're um, now we can't ride down in the Land Rover now so we've got a long walk back down to base while Janet drives down in the Land Rover behind me